Thank you very much, Chris. From increasing unemployment benefits to getting paid sick leave, Hawaii Senator Maisie Hirono has been working hard on Capitol Hill and fighting the spread of the coronavirus here in the islands. And the senator joins us live on the phone this morning. Good morning, Senator. Good morning. Now, first off, can you tell us about the House passed a second coronavirus package over the weekend that still needs to be passed by the Senate? What can you tell us about the status of the Families First Coronavirus Response Act? Well, there's some uh, very good provisions in it, and so I think that the Senate should get to this bill as soon as possible. Uh, and it, it has paid leave, it has uh, food assistance, uh, uh, unemployment insurance assistance, and the whole idea is, you know, we need to make sure that the people who are uh, being laid off or people who are, are sick are taken care of. And so this House bill goes to a lot of that, and then we had earlier passed an $8.3 billion uh, bill that would provide assistance to states and counties who are uh, dealing with this situation. Senator, you talked about the economic impact. Small businesses here and those who work in tourism are really struggling financially. What message do you have for them? I know that this is, uh, there, there are some specific provisions in both of these bills intending to help the small businesses. And so, uh, you know, that we're going to need to continue to, uh, to monitor what is happening. The earlier, some of these bills will allow small businesses, the SBA, to um, lend uh, no interest loans, that sort of thing. I and mean, we'll have to see how helpful that is uh, under the circumstances. One other thing I wanted to add regarding the House bill is that there are a lot of people who are very concerned about whether they're going to need to pay for the testing once the testing kits are made more available. And the House bill is, uh, provides for free testing. Now, Senator, public schools started an extended spring break this week. Mm -hmm. What do you say to concerned parents who have to work and cannot find child care services? So, you know, um, we, everybody has to do the best they can, and parts of these bills will provide for uh, paid, you know, paid family leave and that, those kinds of help. But I tell you, uh, there, there are just so many different circumstances that families are needing to face, so they entire focus of so many of us and really the focus of the two big bills that we've passed so far and i don't think that that's the, the end of it um is that we, we need to find out what is you know what what more can we do to make sure that we're helping the small businesses we're helping people who are laid off we're helping families who are sick and it runs the gamut but there are there are so many different uh, contingencies that can occur and so we're all going to need to one identify what we need to do and then to do, do everything we can to meet those needs. Now Senator President Trump said to avoid travel bars and restaurants and gathering in places of groups of more than 10 people. He also warned that this could be going on until July or August before the coronavirus quotes washes through. Is this something that we should have been testing earlier? I think the fact that, uh, that that we knew about this virus in January, uh, I, I don't think there was uh, enough um, uh, serious um, actions taken. The federal government could have done a lot more, and uh, the, you know, <clears throat> excuse me. So, but we are where we are, and at this point, we need to be pulling together. But we know that this kind of pandemic can occur, so we should learn from this experience, hard as it already is, that the next one that comes along, <clears throat> we have to be a much better prepared in terms of uh, the experts that we have available and uh, the, the, the need to push for the development of a vaccine, which is finally happening, but it's still going to take about a year before it can be safe for people to use. So there are, there are going to be a lot of lessons learned about how to be better prepared to deal with this kind of um, a pandemic. And clearly for our country, and maybe not so much for the state of Hawaii, in that a lot of people in Hawaii are covered under the Hawaii's prepared health care law. But in the rest of the country, there are millions and millions of people who don't even have insurance, who are so concerned about how they're going to pay for the care that they may need. Um, not to mention uh, not even going to the doctor if they are feeling ill. So. 
you know, that there are, as I said, lots of lessons to, to be learned. But in the meantime, first and foremost, you want to take care of the individuals and families and communities who are being impacted right now. And speaking of impacts, how has the coronavirus pandemic affected you in D.C., Capitol Hill, in terms of how you're doing social distancing? We're obviously we're doing that, uh, and most of the offices, I believe, if not all of all of them, were teleworking. So, uh, you know, I, I really want to encourage the ability of the federal government to provide more teleworking opportunities for federal employees, and it happens to be a bill that I had earlier introduced before uh, the coronavirus situation. But we are teleworking, and I'm sitting right now in my office because, as I need to come in uh, to do what I'm doing now, like talking to you folks, I have uh, my senior staff with me, but the rest of my staff are working from home. Hawaii Senator Maisie Hirono, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Everyone take care. From Capitol Hill.